Hey everyone, what's going on? Charlie here. We're going to take a step-by-step -step look at the actual creation process of ETFs. We, we uh, briefly touched on it a couple episodes ago, but in this one particularly, we're going to focus on the investment flow of an ETF creation process and break it down and show you a nice flow chart that puts it all together for you. So for the purpose of this video, there's going to be, you're going to see uh, green, blue, and orange arrows that highlight the map of the ETF creation process. In this video, we're only going to be discussing investments or green arrows, the investment part of it. And then in the following two videos, we'll discuss services and regulations and how they all flow together. And then anything you see in red is going to be a definition and with the explanation underneath. So let's go ahead and get started. So step one, ETF issuer, right here, ETF issuer, communicates the funds market trades as well as details of the creation and redemption basket to the custodian. So we can follow this here, to the custodian, who provides safekeeping of the assets as well as providing the ETF issuer with a snapshot of the portfolio. Then in step two, the ETF issuer and accounting or custody work together to process and settle creation or redemption activity when there are orders. So we can see here, whenever there are orders, creation and settlement is done between these two entities here, the fund administrator and the ETF issuer. Step three, when a creation or redemption order is processed, accounting or custody processes the underlying basket and the transfer agent processes the ETF shares. Number four, in some operating models, the authorized participant places orders in the primary market with the transfer agent instead of with the distributor. So we can either go, the fund administrator can either skip to step 10 and go straight to the distributor or they can go through the transfer agent who then goes to the authorized participant. You can bypass this step altogether by going directly through, through the distributor, but um, they do have the option of going to the transfer agent first and then to the primary market. Step five, authorized participants may buy or sell excess shares to the market through market participants. Market makers may engage authorized participants to facilitate creations or redemptions. Market makers provide ETF liquidity in step six by posting double-sided quotes on the National Stock Exchange, which we see here. Step seven, brokers who wish to buy or sell retail quantities of ETF shares will facilitate these transactions on the secondary market through one of the national exchanges. Now, this references brokers, but uh, there's also broker dealers. So brokers um, buy and sell securities on behalf of investors. Broker dealers can buy on behalf of themselves and investors. So more relevant to what we're talking about here. Now step eight, investors who wish to invest in the ETFs will engage with a broker or broker dealer who buys or sells shares on their behalf. Number nine, large institutional investors may buy or sell ETF shares on the secondary market through alternative trading venues, such as the infamous OTC, uh, OTC market and dark pool market, which we all know is a way for large firms to transact and remain somewhat anonymous and not affect the price action. So step 10 and 11, Step 10, when a creation or redemption order is then processed, the medallion distributor approves the order and provides final order details to accounting or custody. Now, the medallion distributor serves as the underwriter for new shares, much like the acquisition corporations that we see uh, Citadel buy up all the time. They also uh, facilitate dealer arrangements related to fees if applicable. Now, step 11, the medallion distributor provides the transfer agent with creation or redemption activity for record keeping, and then the transfer agent maintains its data for the use of the medallion distributor and shareholder communications. And lastly, step 12, authorized participants initiate creation and redemption activity on the primary market through distributor systems, and the distributor provides confirmations to authorized participants. So looking at it as a whole right here, you can follow the map that we just discussed and it outlines the step-by-step -step process pretty good. So ETF issuer with custodian, to the fund administrator, to the transfer agent, or to the distributor, 
which then goes to the authorized participants, to the market makers, who have the option of going to the primary or secondary market, which then go to the broker, who then go to the investors, whose then orders are processed back to the exchange, and then the fund administrator confirms all details with the distributor, who then sends everything to the transfer agent for record keeping. So hope this helped. This is the investing side of an ETF ecosystem. In the next two videos, we'll check out the regulations and the services.